This week, I want to reveal the story of a woman wrapped in some element of meaningful history to me. And this week, I was so excited to share the story of Ken Jane McGowan. She's a student at Jackson State University, and she wanted to tell her experience at the historically black university, the site of June Bacon Bursey's meteorology lab. She was set to take courses in the lab next semester, but last week's historic flooding in the Jackson area posed challenges. Still, though, for young women like Ken Jane, our pioneers have a very special message just for you. Love what you do, no matter what it is. You gotta love it. You have to feel it. It has to be your passion, and I mean that honestly. Janice Huff, NBC New York's chief meteorologist, says your success will be like no one else's. The top of the ladder for you could be Ann Arbor, Michigan. It could be San Francisco. It could be Lubbock, Texas. It could be anywhere. As long as you're happy, then it's all good. And Carlene Chavis, CBS San Diego's chief meteorologist, says her journey to her dream job in the Golden State has come with her fair share of criticism, a common fight for women in news. First and foremost, you're a scientist before you're this person that people see on TV. And for me, that was a big hurdle because I care more about what I'm talking about than what I look like. But Dale St. Clair says she's learned from her mother, June Bacon Bursey, the first African-American and female certified broadcast meteorologist, the key to unlocking success. One of her favorite comments uh, about life was some men see things um, as they are uh, and ask why. Uh, some dream uh, things as they are and ask why not. Uh, and that's George Bernard Shaw. From women to meteorologists to African Americans and every curious mind that has engaged in my storytelling this month, thank you. Next week, I'm getting back to the science with more WeatherWise Wednesdays.